So as you might already know, Grease Pencil is now a Geometry Nodes data type in Blender 4.3, which means that we can um, make a node groups for our Grease Pencil objects, which is pretty nice. I've already um, done a, a video about how I can use this to mesh uh, Grease Pencil objects, but uh, now I want to show you how you can actually simulate them. So here I've just drawn like some strokes connecting between two buildings. And let's say like I had some like crazy strokes and I was being really lazy with it and I was just drawing like straight lines across. Um, I've made this little node group to simulate these uh, strokes as strings. So if I press play, the they all sort of get affected by gravity and physics and uh, create like this natural uh, draping effect between the two buildings. Even if, you know, what I input to this is just really basic like proxy lines and lines going in completely the wrong way, like I can do pretty much anything here and they'll always get sort of straightened out into perfect arcs. So uh, this is just one example of like many, many tools that you could create with these new uh, Grease Pencil features. And I can really see like a lot of different tools being developed um, by artists and, you know, developers do uh, create different effects with Grease Pencil. You can effectively make your own modifiers for them. So if you wanted to, um, say even procedurally affect like the thickness of these strokes and that kind of thing you can do that too because if I look at the spreadsheet here at our grease pencil object underneath our different types of layers you can see that we have like a bunch of um, bunch of different uh, pr uh, attributes and parameters here that come from the grease pencil data type so um, things like softness and uh, radius are grease pencil attributes that um, and like opacity and things, we can influence these just by writing attributes directly. So if if I write an attribute called softness in geometry nodes, you can see I can uh, play with this value and change how soft the strokes are. So I could use this to um, procedurally change this. So let's say I wanted the softness to vary based on distance from an object, just as like a really basic example. I'll drop in an empty and um, let's bring that into this geometry nodes tree and set it to relative. Then I'll take the distance by taking my position, adding in a distance node and taking the distance to the location of the empty here, plugging that into the softness. And now as I move this, these values are probably a little bit uh, wonky. So I'm going to remap them to be uh, soft by the empty and uh, not soft around it. So as I move this empty around, you can see that uh, the strokes get softer by the empty. And you know, this um, this is quite cool. Uh, even though this particular effect is a bit weird, I'm not sure why you'd ever want to do this. You can see how you can really easily affect the look of these hand-drawn strokes just by using uh, attributes and geometry nodes. So you could do the radius, which is a little bit crazy, but you could like say make it only thick where the empty is so you can do these really neat little effects really quickly and here in this setup i am using the uh, curve attribute to control the radius to make them uh, thicker at the ends than they are in the middle and i'm also applying a noise to the radius uh, all things that you can't really do um typically with the old grease pencil so yeah there's definitely lots of cool stuff here and you can see i have this little simulations node set up and I'm actually simulating the, the curves themselves from the grease pencil objects. So they get converted um, into curves and then uh, resampled and uh, a bunch of, bunch of uh, simulation stuff. Basically, if you saw my last video on the um, cloth solvers, uh, it's basically the same setup, but using grease pencil as an input. So that's pretty useful. And we can also like reference particular layered names in grease pencil now. So here you see I have a name layer selection node and um, I can just input like the name of a particular layer and I could I could have this as like a group input to the actual modifier here. So I could select the layer that I want to simulate and leave everything else. So only stuff uh, in this, um, this named uh, layer group will be simulated and because that's just how I've set this up. So at the very beginning, I just separate based on that attribute. It's plugged in from a weird way, but uh, yeah, you can see I'm just I'm just simulating stuff from the sim layer. So if I make another layer on my grease pencil object uh, called just anything really, uh, I can uh, draw on this layer and if I turn off this viewer node, uh, you see these strokes that I'm drawing now um, will not be simulated. 
the problem I was having there was I actually um, drew the uh, strokes on the wrong frame so they weren't being simulated so um, you just have to make sure that you draw your strokes on like the correct frame um, but yeah you can see that like I've made another layer with some different strokes in it and um, they do not get simulated while the others do um, but let's say you weren't 100% happy with the result um, you still have a lot of control because you could go ahead and apply the um, the grease pencil you know the modifier we just made there and then you could go back in and uh, go into grease pencil draw mode and uh, erase certain strokes or um, tweak certain strokes or you could also go into sculpt mode and um, maybe go ahead and you know play with uh, play with the grab tool to tweak these a little bit and uh, let's just turn off this ugly layer that I have and work on the sim layer and yeah you can go ahead and do all of that stuff that you would normally do and maybe randomize the randomize them a little bit give them a little bit of noise or smooth them back out you can really do um, anything with these now because they're just a grease pencil strokes but um, yeah I thought I'd just demo this really simple basic tool and if you want to grab this tool I'll put a link to it in the description but otherwise I'm just really excited to see what kind of things people will do with this new um, functionality uh, because I think introducing simulation nodes and grease pencil merging them together to make you know uh, physics based grease pencil uh, drawings is quite a fun little idea and um, it'll be interesting to see uh, what people do with that um, so yeah um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video